Good afternoon. I have uh, bought some new stuff for the nest. I have bought a new solar controller, charge controller, for uh, for my uh, solar panel, and uh, I bought a new battery. the The charge controller. Well, <laughs> this is the box. So um, I've. I looked at it obviously in the shop. I went to a shop to buy it. Uh, I looked at it online first and then I went to the shop to buy it. That's the, the way I like to do it. I like to go to a real shop. The thing about buying stuff online, I well, first of all, it's not really a way I like to do things, but also I don't have an address they can ship it to. So uh, it's easier to go to the shop and it was the same price. So, uh, But anyway, Charge controller. Um, let's have a look at it. <laughs> Unboxing. <laughs> the first thing I see is the the owner's manual. And it is a MPPT charge controller. And, um, well, let's have a look. Here we got the this is how it looks. It has the display where I can read all the information on the charge controller. I was looking at another one in the shop, and that one you had to buy the the display and put somewhere else. Um, I, I like this one and uh, with 12 volt it can uh, it can carry 300, 300 watt of uh, solar and with uh, what is this, a 24 watt it can carry uh, 600 watt of, of solar. So, uh, but uh, I guess I'm only going to use it for, for now I only have a hundred watts, so, and I'm thinking maybe get one more panel. This is, I'm trying to get more from my, uh, from my solar panel, because as it is now, well, it's winter time in Denmark, and obviously winter time, I don't get enough sun for... Uh, for my panel, but I believe that my old charge controller also is one of the reasons why I don't get enough. Let me show you the old one. There you see my old charge controller. It's called a CXN and what is it? Picos. Picos. P H O C O S. Picos. Um, and uh, if I put the new charge controller next to, you can see the difference. That is remarkable, right? Before I uh, before I start to dismantle this over here and, and change the charge controller, I'm gonna show you, I bought a new battery as well. So uh, let's unbox my new battery. There was an instruction manual. Oh, that's good. It is extremely heavy. I believe it's a lot heavier than the old one. It's a hundred amp hours. My old one is a hundred and ten. But as I say, this one is heavier. Let's get it out of this if I can. There we are. <laughs> it is a Daycon. Um, and it's a AGM battery. 
<coughs> 12 volt, 110 amp hour, deep cycle battery. It comes with both things like this to put on the terminals, but also just screws so I could use both. I think I'm gonna use these because my cables are already prepared for these. So uh, put these over here. I will start by uh, taking away the old battery. I figured that would be the best way to go. Then I don't have to worry about power from there. So. <clears throat> Not nearly as heavy as the other one. So, the next thing I should do is to take away the power from the solar panel. I should get, I should take some uh, tape or something to put around the connection. Yeah, we got some tape. That was the first one. That's it. <laughs> that was the dangerous part. So there we are, the old charge controller and the display for it. I will keep it because uh, when we uh, when we have the gathering this summer, maybe someone need a charge controller and. Uh, it can be an okay first charge controller, this one. If they can't afford to... to buy a MPPT, then I can give them this one. Then they just need the cables and a panel. It will make getting solar a little bit cheaper for someone. On the back there's only like slots where you can put a screw like that. There's not a hole all the way through. So it's going to be a little bit tricky to uh, get the screws in the right place. But uh, well, I'll manage. Uh, let's see. So, up here to keep it pushed down because it was those slots that can actually lift off. If I lift, it'll come off, but if I put a screw there, it cannot. Like that made a scratch but now it's 
<coughs> securely mounted. I just want to see if I have some uh, cable clips, wire clips to hold the cables because vibration and all. On the old charge controller, there was these to hold the cables in in place. Don't have like that on the new one. So need to put some uh, cable clips or something. <coughs> Time to put the battery in the in the hole. Better put these. That's what my system is made for. Big one on the red. So, and the small one on black. Big one on positive, small one on negative. Well, looks like. There's a blue light, means that the battery is connected, correct? Well, means that, no, blue light means that the solar panel is connected, correct? Uh, and the green light means the battery is connected correctly. That is it for installing my new battery and my new charge controller. Not a big job, but uh, now the nest look very messy, obviously. Every time you start to do stuff like that, it becomes messy. But anyway, it's working now. Now I just need to uh, tidy up. And also find out where to put the, the old battery. Right now the old battery is located here. I need to get rid of it. I hope you enjoyed this uh, little video and uh, I don't know, you can't really call it a how-to video, just more like a this is how I do it video. So uh, you guys take care and remember, life is good. Bye bye.